There's something I've been thinking a lot about over the past few months that's always kind of irked me, uh, but I could never really put my finger on exactly why. And it's this idea, you know, a lot of these people, these big Eva folks that are uh, all of a sudden like l pretending to lament to the, oh, the division, there's so much division in the church. It's like, you know, like, you know, they're playing the game, right? They created the division. It's their fault. They're the ones that started ripping people for voting for Trump or whatever it was. And then, and then now they're, oh, this is the division. Why, why won't people just let me talk about social justice? Uh, leave me alone. Let me do it. Stop coming to my office. And they're just all pretending to be all concerned and lamenting. And what they'll often say is, "You're just being political. That's too political." And if I, you know, my, you know, my response to this point has always been, "Yeah, you're, you know, you're right. It's political because, you know, I believe Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And if you don't think that, if or if you don't act that way, that He actually has decrees and He actually has a specific kind of justice that He wants His people to carry out and stuff like that. If that's not you, then you got to wonder why are you an unbeliever in when it comes to politics? That's, uh, yeah, you're right. I'm political because Jesus is King. That's what I've been saying up until this point, and that's not wrong. I, I believe that that's correct." Correct. Um, and I think if you read the pages of scripture, you know, you, you'll see that. I mean, the government's on his shoulder. King of kings, that means something. Lord of lords, that means something. There's, there's content there. That's not just a nice thing to say, you know, at, at the end of a prayer. So that's not a wrong response, but it kind of seemed to me incomplete because the whole idea of, oh, that's just political, you're just being political. I always wondered why they thought that was an insult because it's like, yeah, you know, why would I be afraid of, of being political, right? Because yes, I want to accomplish um, you know, morality in our government, and that's going to require me to be political. But I finally figured out what it is. It's the reason why they think it's an insult is because it's it's not so much that they're saying you're being political. It's that what they're implying is that you're playing a game in order to maybe win more uh, votes. So you're doing things, and you're 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 promoting programs, you're promoting systems and policies that benefit your political career, but they're not actually good for the nation. So when when somebody says you're being political, you're putting politics ahead of you know your you know your religion or something. That's what they mean. They mean that you're trying to play a game that benefits you personally, but it's actually not good for the country. So you know Joe Biden, for example, he's a very political guy. You know, right now, he, him and his buddies, they're just thinking, OK, how do we make sure we get elected again next year? Or at least, you know, Cornelia Harris, Coretta, whatever her name is. Um, how do we make sure that they get elected again? Oh, OK, so what we're going to do, we're going to put these programs together. We're going to give all this money to people that are going to vote for us and essentially bribing them to vote for us. And they know it's not good for the country, right? Like we have a tremendous inflation problem. They're finally admitting that it's not transitory. I was watching uh, uh, Peter or listening to Peter Schiff earlier. I guess Jerome Powell finally said, oh, yeah, you know, transitory. Oops, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so, you know, they know that pr printing money doesn't stop inflation. They know that it increases inflation. But they also know that people don't under don't understand where inflation comes from a lot of the time. And so they're st they'll still vote for the people that are actually making the prices go up because they're promising to line their pockets with cash and to do this or do that, whatever. And they don't understand the connection. So they're playing politics. The, the politicians know that continuing to print money is going to create more problems in the future. The Federal Reserve knows that printing more money is going to cause more problems in the future, but the people don't. At least that's what they're hoping. And so they're going to continue to do these things. And that's an example of being political because they're really putting their political careers ahead of what's actually good for the country. What's actually good for the country right now, and this is something that Peter Schiff said as well. He said it today again, but he said it right at the beginning of the pandemic. He said what you should have done when the economy was slowing down due to the, due to the pandemic is you should have stopped. You should have rose interest rates right away. That would have caused a lot of pain, but it's a good kind of pain, like when an addict stops taking drugs and they're, all of a sudden they feel sick and they're shaking and you know, they're trying to kick the habit and it hurts. And they, they know that they could easily just stick themselves one more time and it take all the pain away. And But they know it's better for them to go through that pain because it's going to actually cure you. What the Biden administration wants to do and what the Federal Reserve wants to do and what, quite frankly, Donald Trump wanted to do as well is put a Band-Aid over the cancer. To pr and pretend like it's not there, even as it's getting worse and worse underneath. And Trump was a horrible person when it comes to this as well. He was not good when it came to the economy. Now, here's the thing. So, so, so that's what, that was the right thing to do. 
And that's a that's still being political, but it's being political in a moral way. So when somebody says, "Oh, you're just being political," what they mean is you're trying to benefit yourself and your friends at the expense of what's right. But this is what has always bothered me about my response to you're just being too political. It's another example of them completely projecting because they're actually the ones that are trying to do politics that benefit them and they're open on this they say well i'm willing to sort of let the babies be continued to be butchered so long as they do something for me in terms of racial justice which means giving me money because i need them reparations and you know maybe it might be good to give me some reparations and it's like you're doing that you're being political and you're putting politics over what's right because the scripture says that um, th this this kind of handout, this kind of charity, and especially partial kinds of charity where there's partiality involved, where you're giving it to some but not the others based on something as stupid and barbaric as skin color, um, is evil. Is evil. So it's not like we don't know what's the right thing to do. God gave us a word on what the right thing to do is. The government is there to punish evildoers. And it tells us what an evildoer is, and it tells us the kinds of punishments that are allowable and, and all that kind of thing. And, and so we have the manual as Christians. We're, you know, I'm not expecting pagans to accept our, our manual. They need to repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, of course. But, but as Christians, we have the book, right? So we know how to play the political game that's basically saying, no, I want to do what's right regardless of what the consequences are. We want to do what God says regardless of what the consequences are, because we're not playing pragmatic political games that try to benefit ourselves and get ourselves reelected. What we're trying to do is establish justice according to the scriptures. That's what we're trying to do. But what, what they say, well, you're just being political. And it's like, you know, wait a minute. I, I'm just, yeah, I'm being political. I want to outlaw abortion. How does that benefit me in, in any other sense is, except that maybe God won't judge our nation as quickly? Like, yeah, it benefits the babies that are currently being butchered, and it's the right thing to do. I don't really even care who it benefits. It's the right thing to do. You're the one playing political games to try to get cash and get stuff, and you want them drip, and I want, I don't want, I want them, them, them livestock. And it's like, you're the one who's using this en envious political game to try to line your pockets, you snake. These people are disgusting. As they're, as they're striking you, they're crying out in pain as if you're striking them. It's, this is a twisted game that these people are playing. These woke church people, you know, Doug Wilson did a, uh, an article where he said that if those who have truly sold their soul to, uh, to, uh, to communism and to the woke movement, they're, they're false brethren. And I think that Doug Wilson is committed to this idea that, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of people that aren't false brethren. They've just kind of been swept up in this. I have the opinion that there's a lot more than we think that there are that are just false brethren preaching partiality of it's, it's, of it's, as if it's good, preaching envy and greed as if it's good and saying, oh, you're just you're the one being political because you want to end abortion. Are you freaking kidding me? Get out of here with that, man. Get out of here with that. Anyway, I guess that's really all I have for you. I hope you found this video helpful. God bless. <music>